Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. It seems like every other day there's a new GPT this, GPT that. Now there's an auto GPT. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going to talk about it. We're going dark. A generalized AI is one that is theoretically capable of carrying out many different types of tasks, even ones it wasn't originally created to carry out, much the same way as a naturally intelligent entity such as a human can. Okay. Sometimes it's called strong AI or artificial general intelligence, AGI. AGI is perhaps what we traditionally thought of when we pictured what AI would look like uh, back in the days before machine learning and deep learning made weak slash narrow AI in everyday reality around the start of the previous decade. Think of the science fiction AI demonstrated by robots like the Star Trek character Data, Uh, which can do just about anything a human being can do. So what is AutoGPT? The simplest way of looking at it is that AutoGPT is able to carry out more complex multi-step procedures than existing LLM powered applications by creating its own prompts and feeding them back to itself, creating a loop. Here's one way of thinking about it. Getting the best results out of an application like ChatGPT requires putting careful thought. What do you mean by that? into the way you phrase the question, you ask it. So why not let the application construct the question itself? And while it's at it, also get it to ask what the next step should be and how it should go about it, and so on, creating a loop until the task is accomplished. Wow. It works by breaking a larger task into smaller subtasks and then spinning off independent AutoGPT instances in order to work on them. The original, the original instance acts as a kind of project manager, coordinating all of the work carried out and compiling it into a finished result. For real? As well as using GPT-4 to construct sentences and prose based on the text it has studied, AutoGPT is capable of browsing the internet and including information it finds there in its calculations and output. In this respect, it's more similar to the new GPT-4 enabled version of Microsoft's Bing search engine. It also has a better memory than uh, ChatGPT, so it can construct and remember longer chains of commands. AutoGPT is an open source application that uses GPT-4 and was created by uh, Teron Bruce Richards. Richards said that he was inspired to develop it because traditional AI models while powerful, often struggle to adapt to tasks that require long-term planning or are unable to autonomously refine their approaches based on real-time feedback. It is one of a class of applications that are being called recursive AI agents because they have the ability to autonomously use the results they generate to create new prompts, chaining these operations together to complete complex tasks. Another search agent is Baby AGI which was created by a partner at a venture capitalist firm in order to help him with day-to-day -day tasks uh, that were just too complex for something like ChatGPT, such as researching new technologies and companies. So what are some applications of AutoGPT and AI agents? While some apps like ChatGPT have become famous for their ability to generate code, they tend to be limited to relatively short and simple programming and software design. AutoGPT and potentially other AI agents that work in similar fashion can be used to develop software applications from start to finish. AutoGPT is also able to help businesses to autonomously uh, increase their net worth by examining their processes and making intelligent recommendations and insights about how they could be improved. Uh, unlike ChatGPT, it can also access the internet meaning you can ask it to conduct market research or carry out other similar tasks. For example, find me the best set of golf clubs for under $500. One extremely disruptive task it has been uh, set is to destroy humanity. And the first subtask it assigned itself to get this done was to begin researching the most powerful atomic weapons of all time. As its output is still limited to uh, creating text, its creator assures us it won't actually get very far with this task, hopefully. AutoGPT can also apparently be used to improve itself. Its creator says it can create, evaluate, review, and test updates 
to its own code that can potentially make it more capable and efficient. It can be used to create better LLMs that could form the basis of future AI agents by accelerating the model making process. So what could this mean for the future of AI? Ever since generative AI applications started to emerge, it's been clear that we're only at the start of a very long journey in terms of how AI will evolve and impact our lives and society. Are AutoGPT and other agents that follow the same principles the next step of that journey? It seems likely. At the very least, we can expect AI tools that allow us to carry out far more complex tasks than the relatively simple things like ChatGPT can do to begin to become more commonplace. Before long, we will start to see more creative, sophisticated, diverse, and useful AI output than the simple text and pictures that we've gotten used to. These will no doubt eventually have an even bigger impact on the way we work, play, and communicate. Other potential positive impacts include reduced cost and environmental impact of creating LLMs and other machine learning related activity as autonomous, recursive AI agents find ways to make the process more efficient. However, uh, we have also considered that by itself, it doesn't really solve any of the problems associated with generative AI. These include the variable, to put it nicely, accuracy of the output it creates and, put, and the potential for abuse of intellectual property rights and the possibility of it being used to spread biased or harmful content. In fact, by generating and running more, uh, many more AI processes in order to achieve bigger tasks, it could potentially magnify these issues. Uh, the potential problems don't stop there. Eminent AI expert and philosopher Nick Bostrom has recently said he believes the newest generation of AI chatbots such as GPT-4 are, are uh, even beginning to show signs of sentience, which could create a whole new moral of ethical quandary if, as a society, we are planning to start creating and uh, operationalizing them on a large scale. So what do you think about this story? Uh, this is a very interesting story. So I love you. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.